<clears throat> hey, so here's a really neat scenario. How many of you, show of hands, have ever had a client make a change to a template, maybe a text message, an email, and then they made a temp change again, and then they made three more changes, and then it feels like you're just making changes on top of changes. Here's an idea. Empower your users to make the change themselves. So simpler said than done, but let's do it without giving them administrative privileges. So we're going to use the substitute formula here. And then we're actually going to show you how to even superpower this at the end. So uh, right here is the template. So this is a text template. So this is a clinic. In the clinic, obviously, it's got patients. And the patients have appointment dates and times and everything else. And then flows, you can go in and tie that, right? So text message gets sent. We want to be able to, to send that off. So in this scenario, this text message comes in with the patient's name, um, the facility, everything else. And you can see we put these little um, brackets, little macro replacers in there. And um, here you can see it's it's English. And um, yes, we're turning this on. And it'll come in handy here in a second. So back here in our um, encounter lifecycle, which is where these guys get sent out, um, it comes down through. Is, is the, the patient opted in? Yes. Is the clinic enabled for this feature? Yes. Is it English or Spanish? It is English. And we are going to take that and put it into our VAR template. So now, how do we get those little macro doodads to get replaced? Well, um, you can see we take our VAR template and we use the substitute formula. So substitute, here's the bit of the, the chunk, the entire chunk of text, all of it. I want you to look very specifically for facility. And then we're going to replace it with the dynamic thing of the record dot facility. So this will always take the facility and replace it with the facility name. And then we do it on to the next one, step two. This one's gonna take the call center and put the call center's clean phone number in there. And then step three, this is gonna take the facility address and put the facility address in. But you can always see we're always taking the, the result of step one and we're putting it into two. And here we're on step three. So we're gonna take the result of step two and we're gonna put it into step three. Um, so how you can do that, really simple. The, the clinics then can make updates. So as promised, how can we supercharge this? How can we make it even better? Well, um, I created a custom action. Um, it is a replacement. So in this scenario here, we have um, just a really quick uh, screen flow. So we have this thing here, and we have you no know, hello, first name, last name. I'm a long text. There's a whole bunch of replace me's. So, and we have some JSON in here. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. Comes down through, and all we're doing is we're just going to take that uh, JSON and we're going to assign it to a variable. Um, in reality, you would just put this into a variable to begin with. Um, over here is the Apex action itself. Uh, we're going to take the input text, which is that hello, uh, my name, or hello, first name, last name, uh, feed it that JSON. And down here, we're going to specify the output. And that dumps it in over here, and all we're doing is putting in the output. So when we hit debug, um, we should be able to see this go through. So let's run this. And up here is the first name and last name. Here's all of the, the JSON that's going to go through. So it's going to find first name uh, and then replace it with Jason. Last name, replace it with Altlin. And then you're going to hit next. And hello, Jason Altlin. I'm long text. And uh, replace me was not replaced because that was just an example. But this is one of those things of seeing is believing. And why would you need to go through all of this when I did the other one and did seven steps? Well, you know, crazy as it would be, maybe I have 30 values. I have 30 individual values that I want replaced, that I want access to, because my customer wants 30 individualized options. So how can we make those? Well, we type in the one time we come through and we say, here's all of our 30 JSON values. And every time it's going to find value number one, it's going to replace it with, hey, I'm value number one, and the whole way down to 30. So let's go ahead and hit next. And you can see that quick, it just replaced all of them. So once again, the scenario of the story was uh, we want to take problems out of our hands and then place them back into our users' hands for allow them to be able to self-update things. So small feature, I want to be able to put in the patient's name the first name and the last name. Believe it or not, this is widely empowering to the end users. Uh, most of the times when you put these things in, 
they get updated once, they think it's going to be a problem because they've probably had a prior admin that's been a pain to deal with, and they just stop using them. So when things stop getting used, they're not even functional anymore. So you'll see that in this example, um, they can turn it on and off. They'll just turn it off. But allow the user to make those changes, small incremental changes over time. They can make themselves. It'll help free up a ton of time for you and empower your end users.